Hello there. Can I look at some number line fractions? Here I have starting from zero to one. And so I've got zero to one, which just represents one whole chocolate bar, one whole pizza, whatever you would like to consider it to be. I have three quarters over here, three fourths. So the denominator is four, which means how many parts make up a whole. So if I have four, I want to have one hole. So that equals one hole. Three fourths. Where would I put three fourths on this number line? Three fourths. The four, denominated down the bottom, tells me that I need to cut up my chocolate bar, my pizza, whatever it is, or my line in this case, into fourths. Or four pieces. So that's the denominator. I might not be able to do that accurately, but I know if I can start with a half, half over the counter, maybe around about here, and then a half of a half would be a quarter. That's a half again, maybe about here, one, about here. So here is like zero. This piece here would be one fourth, one fourth, one out of four. Here would be two fourths, which is equivalent or equal as a half. So this is halfway between zero and one. One fourth, two fourths, what I'm really looking for is three fourths. Three fourths must go here. Here I've got one hole, which is equivalent as four fourths. So I could make that as four and a four. So that is fractions, just on a basic number line. Now if I change this a little bit. What about if I start at zero and here I have one and here I have two and it's you know, oh, it's on go. Where would I put half now? Half and I want three quarters. Let's look at three quarters. Where would I put three quarters? So if you think about the last one, if I had between zero and one, I went to halfway through. So here I've got zero to two. So if you do this, well, half of zero and two would be here, one. So that would be wrong. Because that is half of two. So we're looking for half. But there you see these, a half. Hopefully I forgot his bit of vehicle. One piece out of two. The half would be here. Half of one. Three quarters. Again, it's not three quarters of this whole chocolate bar. It's three quarters of zero to one. So that would be here this time. Three fourths. Two fourths, which we know is the same as a half. So that means here must be one fourth. And we know this would be four fourths. Let's continue this. Now, if I come across here, if I do the same, if I cut that into a half from between one and two, if I continue this, I know my top of has been cut into four pieces. So here I could put five fourths, which now makes the numerator bigger greater than the denominator. Six fourths, just like a pattern. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths. So what do you think would be two holes? How many fourths or quarters would I have? The pattern continues to be eight fourths. So once the numerator becomes greater or bigger than the denominator, 
you have what is known as an improper fraction, improper. Other way you can turn it round or change it back into a mixed fraction. I can think of so it's quite like having here's my pizza. My pizza holds four slices. One, two, three, four. In this case, I've got an extra slice hanging over. So here's my extra slice. So I've got one hole. Past the one here. One hole and one piece left out of four. So if I actually made my pizza box, the pizza box holds four, but there's only one in there. One and one four. And if I wanted to turn this back into an improper fraction, I can multiply the denominator by the whole, which is one. Four times one is four. Plus the numerator, so 4 plus 1 is 5. So 5 fourths. So let's try it with this one. It's the same 6 fourths. So I have 4 here, 5. 6 slices of pizza. This is right. And which means I have one hole. And another way you can do it is you think of how many slices make up one hole, and which we know is 1. 6 minus 4. Leave two, there'd be two left over. Two fourths. One and two fourths. If you were told to simplify it, which means break it down to the smallest value, which is equivalent, would be one and a half. One and a half. And that would be your best. Seven fourths, this would be one and three fourths. Double check. Four times one is four. Four plus three is seven. Seven fourths. So this is known up here as the mixed fraction. It's got a whole and a and some bits. Improper fraction, because the numerator is greater than the denominator. This one up here would have becomes two, two holes. What would be the next one, do you think? If there was another slice of pizza or another quarter. That would actually be two. Quarter. And again, if that was equivalent down here, I could do 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 would be 9. 9 out of 4. 9 fourths. That's something you want to keep in mind. Have a go at some of those.